puppy's features are designed to win us over. They have these huge eyes and these short noses. They cause people to have this sort of, oh, how cute feeling. Human mothers may be a little jealous. Instead of our nine months, a canine pregnancy typically lasts for only nine weeks. But watch out, the litter size will vary depending on the breed. I think the biggest litter was with a Neapolitan Mastiff who gave birth to 24 puppies, which is way off the Richter scale. Most litters have somewhere between 5 and 12 puppies. And very small dogs, like Chihuahuas, may only be able to carry one pup at a time. For the first week or so, puppies are blind and deaf. Sealed eyes and ears protect them during delivery. Since they can't see and they can't hear, really by a sense of smell, they find their way to one or other teat and they latch on and they start to nurse. Just like human mothers, canine mothers produce a first milk that contains important antibodies that boost puppies' immune systems just after birth. It's called colostrum and it's vital to puppies' development. This is a stage when the puppies are sleeping 90% of the time and eating the other 10%. Before a pup is adopted, between one and two weeks, an amazing milestone has occurred. Their eyes have opened. Their retinas are still poorly developed, so they can't see much. But they're sensitive to light and begin to wobble around. And they're also becoming socialized, a process that centers around nursing. Who is feeding first? Who feeds the most? Who's feeding last? A lot of these personality traits develop within those first three weeks. Puppies that suckle first tend to be more dominant and self-confident as adults, while pups that are the last to nurse can be more submissive when fully grown. But all the pups feed in time, and by three weeks, all sorts of changes have occurred. They're becoming more like dogs and less like little hamsters. Their ears have opened, and they're responding to sound. They're beginning to stand and walk short distances. And their baby teeth, also called milk teeth, are starting to come in. They use them interactively like young children would use their hands. And like young children, puppies require playtime at this stage, with toys and siblings alike. Dogs need to have all that social experience, rough and tumble play, chasing, in order to have their good social skills. They still rely on mom for food, but they don't need her to be by their side all the time. Weaning begins at the three-week mark, and that means being introduced to moist or blended puppy food for some meals. A messy endeavor indeed. Their hearing is acute at four weeks, and although their vision is not fully developed yet, they're able to see. Even more amazing is how much they're already able to learn. Simple commands like sit, stand, and down are these puppies' first lessons. And when they get them right, they're even old enough to gloat. It's very important to start training puppies from a very young age because puppies are like little sponges. They absorb so much information that's given to them. At this stage, puppies are more independent, sturdier on their feet, and wildly curious about the world around them. But too much activity can still tire them out. Looks like she needs a hammock. Come on, Frisco! When it's time to feed, though, puppies perk up no matter what their age. At four weeks, they nurse less and eat solid foods more. They can even learn table manners. Yes! It's a good practice to hold the bowl up and to have the puppy sit before feeding. This does teach any puppy um, some nice patience and self-control. The first four weeks of puppies' lives are filled with wonder and lay some significant groundwork. And if you want them to be healthy, keep them warm. Remember, they cannot regulate their body temperature until three weeks old. If mom strays from the whelping box, they still need temperatures in the 80s and 90s during these first weeks of life. Nursing keeps them alive, too. To receive proper nutrition, the pup's mother should consume puppy food during lactation because of its higher nutritional content. 
And newborn pups are indoor creatures the first few weeks. A warm and cozy whelping box with a minimum of distraction is all they need. In a nutshell, healthy puppies are warm puppies. Don't expose them to cold. Ensure good nutrition by making sure mom is fed puppy food at least twice her normal amount while nursing. And a whelping box is a must, so pups and mothers have a safe place to nest. 